Albany's Common Council is looking at legislation that would change how the city regulates any bar, club, or restaurant that has DJs, karaoke, or live music. But Friday night, some bars on Lark Street had an unexpected visit. The city came by to a couple of venues where I work and told them that they can't have any more karaoke shows. From there, DJ Michael Kahn lost a few jobs, like Monday night's karaoke set at Elda's on Lark. We spoke to the owner there, who said when she questioned city officials Friday night, they told her. They tried to work in some kind of law to have some kind of um, license. They stopped in at Elda's, and uh, there was not, you know, there's not an authorization for live entertainment there. My club can't even go to the city right now to get a cabaret license because they don't yet exist. I mean, the law hasn't passed yet. Under the proposal, businesses would have to submit an annual review to the city clerk and pay for the cabaret license. It would cost anywhere from $300 to $900, depending on the size of the building. What do you say to small business owners who say this is just another way for the city to bring in extra revenue? Oh, it is certainly not about the money at all. Council President Carolyn McLaughlin wouldn't expand on how much the city stands to gain from the licensing fee, but Elda Abate says customers will feel the pain in their wallet. Everything when we have a fee as a business owner is a pass it to the consumer. Council members want to hear more from residents and businesses. They expect to vote in March. In Albany, Casada Edwards, CBS 6 News.